In 2012, I was diagnosed with um, invasive breast cancer. And at the time, I was 38 years old, and I had five children. My oldest was 16, and my youngest was two. That was the last thing that I thought I would be um, facing as a young, uh, busy mom. I had been having some symptoms. I had um, a nipple discharge on my breast, from my breast, and um, some sores that that wouldn't heal and weren't getting better. And so I went in to see the doctor and, and they did some tests and then eventually they recommended that I get a mammogram. It was devastating to get that news because you, on one hand, you had no idea what you were in for. But then on the other hand, you also have known other people that have had cancer and you know what, um, what the battle that you have to face. Treatment was about a year. I had chemotherapy for four months. I did uh, radiation. I had a mastectomy on my left side. And um, when you first look at it, it is a little bit devastating. Um, it's a very large scar across uh, your chest. And um, on one hand, I was glad that the cancer was there in a place that it could be just um, cut off and gone, and that I didn't have any damage to internal organs or things like that. But then on the other hand, it does change a little bit how you see yourself or how you feel about yourself or you worry about how your husband would see you. I definitely would encourage women to, to take their health um, serious and to um, to get a mammogram and to to not put it off because it may be uncomfortable or, or you may be worried about the answer or what it says because knowledge is power and the earlier that you detect it it can mean less treatment for yourself and um, it means a longer survivability.